Imagine a dimly lit vintage movie theater in the heart of the city where the silver screen flickers to life and a hush of anticipation falls upon the audience. You settle into your seat, the scent of freshly buttered popcorn wafting through the air, and the excitement is palpable. And then, it happens the opening credits roll, and the year is 1966. You find yourself in the midst of the dazzling world of Murderer's Row. As the story unfolds, a cocktail of suspense, intrigue, and charisma washes over you, leaving an indelible mark on your memory. Do you recall that unforgettable encounter with the suave and debonair secret agent, Matt Helm, portrayed by none other than the iconic Dean Martin? His effortless charm and wit set against a backdrop of espionage and danger have etched themselves into the annals of cinematic history. It was a time when spy thrillers were at their zenith, and Murderer's Row played its part impeccably, seamlessly blending humor and action to create an experience that still resonates today. But let's delve deeper beyond the surface. How many knew that this film was part of a Matt Helm film series, inspired by Donald Hamilton's novels? Or that the dashing Anne Margaret as the seductive and enigmatic femme fatale brought an irresistible allure to the screen? Murderer's Row had its own unique flair, a distinct blend of the swinging 60 seconds and espionage, encapsulating an era of sophistication and intrigue. As we journey back to this cinematic gem, we'll uncover fascinating tidbits about the film, the cast, and the legacy it left behind. So, grab your popcorn and let's embark on this thrilling journey through time. In film, Murderer's Row, where style met substance, and secrets lay hidden behind every glance. The 1966 movie Murderer's Row offers a glimpse into a thrilling era of cinema. While no specific information is available about the hovercraft models featured in the film, it's worth noting that a large, white hovercraft resembling a Saunders Row Nautical 6 and a smaller hovercraft resembling the Britain Norman Cushioncraft 5 make appearances. Notably, one CC5 built for the film capsized during tests off Priory Bay. Another interesting tidbit is that Camilla Sparve was Michael Caine's girlfriend during the production of Murderer's Row, adding a touch of personal connection to the film's history. Columbia Pictures had a strategic move with the film's release. They rushed Murderer's Row into theaters as their big Christmas prospect, Casino Royale, was facing delays and troubles. Murderer's Row is a classic piece of cinema history, and these details add layers to its production and release. In the 1966 movie Murderer's Row, Dean Martin played a character named Matt Helm. This character was quite different from the one in the original novel. Unlike the darker and more serious Helm from the books, Dean Martin's portrayal was lighthearted and spoofy with a touch of his own persona. Harl Malden, who appeared in the film, referenced Operation Sekulovich before learning that Matt Helm was still alive. This term was a nod to Malden's original surname and he often incorporated it into his roles in various films. Originally, the movie was planned to be shot on location in Europe. However, Dean Martin, who played the lead role, refused to travel across the Atlantic, leading to a change in production plans. The film's departure from the novel's tone, Malden's reference to Operation Sekulovich, and the change in shooting location all played a role in shaping the unique character of Murderer's Row, making it a noteworthy addition to the 1960s spy movie genre. Murderer's Row, a peek into the sequel Murderer's Row, the 1966 movie, is the second installment of the Matt Helm film series, following The Silencers. Directed by Henry Levin, this espionage comedy is one of four movies featuring the charismatic secret agent, Matt Helm. The film introduced Carl Malden in a distinctive role where he played Colonel Morgan, a character who conversed in various accents throughout the movie. Malden's decision to adopt this playful gimmick added a unique touch to the film. Murderer's Row is also notable for being the film debut of Soon Teko. His presence in the movie marked the beginning of a prolific career in the film industry. The film's storyline revolves around Matt Helm's mission to thwart a villainous plot. Full of action and humor, it remains a classic in the spy comedy genre. In summary, Murderer's Row is the second in the Matt Helm series, with Carl Malden's multi-accented character, and the debut of Soon Teko as notable highlights. This film is an entertaining addition to the 1960s spy movie era. In the 1966 movie Murderer's Row, there's an interesting tidbit in the discotheque scene. Dean Paul Martin, son of Dean Martin, appeared as one of the band members named Dino 
and Daisy Arnaz Jr. played another band member named Daisy. This added a touch of Hollywood royalty to the film. Additionally, the film originally planned to shoot on location in Europe, but Dean Martin, one of the lead actors, refused to travel there. As a result, the production had to make do with alternative filming locations. Murderer's Row is a notable spy comedy film from the 1960s, with these intriguing connections to Hollywood legends and its unique filming challenges. It's a piece of cinematic history worth exploring. Murderer's Row was the second installment in the Matt Helm series, following The Silencers. This action comedy film starred Dean Martin as Matt Helm, a secret agent. However, it's worth noting that Carl Meldon, who played Julian Wall in the film, had an interesting idea for his character. He thought it would be amusing if his character spoke in different accents throughout the movie. Meldon's unique approach to his character added an extra layer of humor to the film. While this wasn't a central plot point, it provided a memorable and lighthearted element to the espionage story. Murderer's Row also marked the film debut of actor Soon Teko, who played an important role in the movie. This film helped launch his career, and he would go on to become a well-known actor in the industry. In summary, Murderer's Row was the sequel to The Silencers, and featured Carl Malden's character speaking in different accents, adding a unique twist to the film. It also marked the film debut of Soon Teko. These elements, among others, contributed to the overall charm of the movie. Friction on set, the unsettling behind-the-scenes relationships among Murderer's Row's cast the 1966 movie Murderer's Row brought together a star-studded cast, promising to deliver an exciting spy thriller. However, behind the scenes, not everything was as glamorous as it appeared on screen. The interpersonal issues among the cast members had a significant impact on the atmosphere during production and ultimately influenced the final product. One of the most notable conflicts was between the film's leading actors, Dean Martin and Anne Margaret. While their on-screen chemistry was palpable, off-screen tensions were equally intense. They disagreed on numerous aspects of the production, from script changes to their respective roles, leading to a strained working relationship that affected the entire set. Despite their on-screen success, their behind-the-scenes friction added an underlying tension to the movie. Moreover, actress Camilla Sparve's clashes with director Henry Levin added to the off-screen turmoil. Sparve openly criticized Levin's direction, which created a hostile working environment for both the cast and crew. These disputes not only hindered the film's progress, but also left a lasting impact on Sparve's Hollywood career. Ultimately, the discord behind the scenes of Murderer's Row became an unfortunate reality of this otherwise promising film. While the movie itself may have pleased audiences, the battles waged away from the cameras serve as a reminder that even in vintage Hollywood, tensions among cast members could mar the creation of an otherwise entertaining classic. As we bid adieu to the thrilling tale of espionage, intrigue, and glamour that is 1,966 seconds murderer's row, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on your unique connection with this cinematic gem. This classic movie has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of viewers over the years, and we want to hear your thoughts and memories. Perhaps it was the suave charm of Matt Helm, masterfully portrayed by Dean Martin, that captured your imagination. Or maybe it was the magnetic allure of Anne Margaret's role as the dazzling and dangerous femme fatale. Was it the riveting plotline that kept you on the edge of your seat, or the vintage, mod-infused fashion that transported you back to the swinging 60 seconds? Your memories and thoughts on Murderer's Row are a treasure trove of cinematic nostalgia, and we'd love for you to share them with us. Whether it's a favorite scene, a memorable quote, or a personal connection to the era, your perspective adds a unique layer to the rich tapestry of this film's legacy. Thank you for taking the time to revisit this cinematic adventure with us. Your insights are not only a testament to the enduring appeal of Murderer's Row, but also a celebration of the power of storytelling to connect us across time and space. We look forward to hearing your stories and insights, and we're grateful for your time and interest. Warm regards and happy reminiscing outro.